Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. We have another art subscription box. This one of course is Smart Art Box for January. Um, but before I get into this one, let me show you what I did for December's box. And it was an epic fail for me. <laughs> I, I, when I, when I tried to do it, the, um, and I was trying to put the card on the little jelly gel thing, it slipped. So a couple of times, well, quite a few times, it messed up on me. And so as much as I hate to show my bad work, it's always good to show bad as well as good because I don't always get it. <laughs> and I, I got it. I knew, the pre I, I knew the principles of it. I knew what I was supposed to do. But it still turned out bad. Anyway, this is the first card I did. And I used the bubble wrap to, to do the stencil part. Which wasn't bad. It, 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 it's not bad. You know, I, I figured this would make, <laughs> this would make a great patriotic um, card. <laughs> send it to somebody and of course it came out right you know of course it could be also this way you know it could be this way or it could be this way depending on how you want to look at it but I prefer it this way okay this was my first one and I thought oh this is so much fun now this is not great but it's not bad it's not bad but I was I had so much fun with this one I thought oh I'm gonna do another one so I did and I thought I would draw on it you know, draw on the, on the, you know, put the ink down and then draw a little picture or whatever. <laughs> this is what it came out. <laughs> this is what it came, This is what happened. <laughs> because when I put the card on the ink, it slipped. And so the, the uh, design did not come out the way I wanted. It's just, I think I could o do it over with, with ink, you know, so I, I know what it's supposed to be. <laughs> and then I messed up it on it again in the sense that it's, it opens the wrong way. <laughs> and I can't put it upside down because that's the head right there and that's the body right there. So I can't put it upside down. <laughs> So this one, this one was an epic fail. <laughs> and then, again, I tried the drawing thing and the stencils mixed together. Well, the bubble wrap thing mixed together. And this one was an epic fail. <laughs> this one did come out better. It, you know, it can, it, it, I did put it, I did put it, place it down right. But this one was an epic fail. See, like I said, I did. I was having, even though they were epic fails, I was having a great time. And then I did another one. And this one's not too bad, but it's very simplistic. Um, th this was what I was going for with the with the other one, the blue one. That's what this was what I was going for. So this one didn't slide too much. So it's this one's not bad. It isn't too bad. And then let me see here. So I can get my other one. I'm trying to go through these things. I mean, I did quite a few. I was having such a good time. And then I did this one, which is not too bad. It's also simplistic, but it was supposed to be like this. But it opens wrong. <laughs> I did it in the wrong direction. It was supposed to be like this. <laughs> so, so I guess you could open it like flowers laying down. And you can open it like this. But still, it was supposed to be like this. So anyway, this was not a total fail, but still. <laughs> this is not the direct this this was the direction it was supposed to go in. <laughs> and then I think I have one more here. Yeah. Now that first one was supposed to be a full-bodied cat. This was this is what the top part was. Now this is not bad. However, <laughs> <laughs> it opens wrong. <laughs> so I, this is an epic fail. Hello, Kitty. Hello, Indy. This is Indy. Come to say, what mother, what are you doing? What are you laughing at? 
No, don't lay down on that. Come on now. I'm doing something. Anyway, so this was the, <laughs> this was an epic fail. <laughs> no, it's not bad, but it's and I can't lay it down like that because it don't look right. <laughs> so this one was a fail. But anyway, I actually after I did all this, I went on YouTube and I looked for um, either another smart art box or how to use the jelly thing. And I did find a couple of YouTube videos that not only showed, uh, like, oops, I almost knocked you over. Um, not only showed how to do the jelly, you know, the, 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 the stamping thing and everything, but um, uh, 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 another uh, YouTuber who had this particular, well, the no, this December Smart Up box, and she did it. So I'm going to try to do it again using her technique and the uh, the links are in the description box below so that you can go check them out too. But anyway, <laughs> let's get over my epic fail. <laughs> it was an epic fail. And get into the, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it was awful. It was it was awful. I <laughs> did terrible. I mean the first one wasn't too bad. But the other ones were like, oh, my Lord, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but it was still fun. And even though they were epic fails, I actually really enjoyed doing it. That's why I want to do it some more. So I will give it another shot. Maybe I can save this somehow. Maybe, you know, take take it off, cut it in half, and just use it, you know, for like a little picture or something instead of a card. And then use this side for something. You know, use this side to decorate. You know, this. Oops, you almost knocked you over again. Use that side to decorate. But anyway, and I also found out, I never even thought about it until I saw this other YouTube video. But I could do it on the envelopes too, because they come, like I think I showed you in the other box, in the, when the box opening, that it, it comes with envelopes. So I could actually use the envelopes too. But anyway, that was the <laughs> epic fail. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, you know, you you you, you know you, you you make mistake and you move on. You know you don't you don't dwell on it. You you happen to have a good sense of humor, because if you don't, you're gonna cry. <laughs> it's like oh no, I all messed up. But anyway, I'm not perfect in everything. I try to be, but I'm not perfect in anything. But I I will I will give it another shot because it really was fun. Anyway, on to the uh, January art subscription box of uh, Smart Art Box. And for anybody who is not familiar by now with these, it is a monthly subscription box that has high-end um, art supplies in it. Usually, if this if Smart Art Box usually has a project with, with a pamphlet that tells you um, what the project's going to be. And now, like I, I've done before, I broke the seal, but I have not looked inside. So, let us look inside. There we go. Okay. And let's see here. It's pretty. This is the pamphlet. That's pretty. Hmm. Could be anything, really. But I'm not trying not to. I'm trying to um, uh, cover up what's inside the box so I don't know what it is. Oh, okay. Colored pencil. Woohoo! Colored pencil. That's what it says. And the featured artist this time is. Morgan Davidson and the project tools of course this the inside gives you the project tools which comes in the box and the pointers and then on the back it shows you how to use it now colored pencil that no problem I know how to use colored pencils so anyway now they want you to draw this bird but I think I, I will do with something of my own you know my own design maybe you know like maybe another type of bird instead of although this bird's very colorful but anyway let us see what kind of uh, stuff we have inside the box okay first we have a Bruinzel or zeal it's either zeal I think it's zeal Bruinzel because it's got two e's so I presume it's Bruinzel uh, expression colored pencil set 12 pieces and this is this lovely thing Ooh, it comes in at 10 I like that let's see if I can figure out how to open it open it on the right side hopefully it was is it tape closed yep it's tape closed that is why I could not get it open because it is tape closed and I'm trying to open it 
I don't have a pair of scissors right now, so okay, it's just that one side. And there's the pencils. And we've got, I don't know if they've got the, the colors on them. Doesn't look like they have the colors on them, they just got the numbers. Yeah, they've only got the numbers on them. Uh, let me see, where's my... So we can see what the colors are. Now, I believe I've used these Bruinzel Zeal pencils before. Um, from another art box, maybe a single pencil or a couple pencils, something like that. Now, let me see here. Oh, back here in the color. On the page with the color stuff. Here we are. Okay. You have got to see what the colors are. I won't show you white because you all know what white looks like. And I won't show you black because you all know what black looks like. Oh, that's has very it's very soft. That's a nice flesh tone. You see that's very pale. Ah, I love having new color pencils. And this is yellow. I'll probably do myself a, a proper color chart when I when I before I use the pencils. Well that was yellow. I did that one already. trying to do this through the viewfinder. It's kind of odd. It's orange. And then red. So I think it's a red. Yeah, it's a red. Did I miss one? I did. I missed the purple. a blue, a dark blue, and I believe this is a lighter blue. Actually, this looks like a blue, uh, blue violet, and that one looks just blue. Light green. Dark green. Colors are really nice. And the brown. And then, of course, black, which I am not going to show you because it's black. And those are the colors. And then we also have, in here we have a Fabriona, Fabriona Venzia, Venzia sketchbook. Ooh, yeah. Oh, this is a nice size sketchbook. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. I should have put the, did my color swatches in my, the, the new sketchbook. I try to, anyway. I'm trying to open it now. Didn't even, I should have looked in the box and I was seeing the sketchbook I would have done in the, in the new sketchbook. Because I always try to, you know, break it in, so to speak. Oh, that was nice. It's got a hard cover on it. It's like, it's literally like a book. I better try to get this plastic in the trash, otherwise my cat will get to it. For some reason, my cat just loves to eat plastic. Or at least gnaw on it. I'm like, I don't want you to swallow it. That's the inside cages. I don't know if you can see that. We're inside in papers. This is nice. I like this. I can use this as a journal too. It's almost like having like 
maybe look how many pages it's got. It's got lots and lots of pages. I like this this sketchbook. It's a oh, this. let's see. It says here a true example of the art the, a, a fine art Italian bookbind. Let's see. Wait a minute. A true example of fine art Italian bookbinding, Fabriano Venzia art books are an upscale European sketchbook journal, perfect for writing, drawing, and even light water media. Fabriano Venzia art books feature lightweight Fab Fabriano, oh, ugh, that word, academia, acid-free, white, fine art drawing paper with, with a very alluring texture. The stylish cover print recalls the Venetian mosaic pattern from the Piazza San. San, it leaves you. They didn't. <laughs> Piazza San. <laughs> no other. No other. No other paragraph. Nothing else. Piazza San. <laughs> so I have no idea what Piazza it is. <laughs> San something or other. And then we have. A phonetic or fine tech blending pencil. Let me see here. That would be. This is it. This is the blending pencil. And then we have a color combi colored pencil sharpener, which is this here. Nice. That's nice. It's got two sizes here, so that's nice if I got a larger pencil, which I don't. I can never have too many pencil sharpeners, though. Let's see how this works. I'll just go ahead and see. Is one of these unsharpened? Oh, this one's this one's sharp, but anyway, I'll go ahead and let me see which one. I'm trying to make sure I put this on the wrong side. I mean, the wrong side, the right side. Oh, that doesn't work on that one. There we go. Oh. Came out. Sharpens pretty good because it's sharper than it was. So that's pretty sharp. It's pretty good. And then we have a Fabric Castell Perfection Eraser Pencil with Brush. It says here ideal for precision erasing. Fabric Castell Perfection Eraser Pencils are ideal for erasing a variety of media. Every perfection eraser pencil is uh, latex free with an eraser uh, core encased in a wood barrel. The pencils can be sharpened in a standard pencil sharpener and are PVC free and patholate free. Whatever. I, I wonder if the... Fa, fa, it's P-H-T-H-A-L-A-T-E. I have a feeling the PH is, is like an F sound or something. Fa, 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 bleh. I'm not even going to try. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I don't know. <laughs> contains, <laughs> contains a hard white eraser for pre precise erasing of ink, India ink, and ballpoint pen. A brush on the uh, opposite end sweeps away eraser residue. Well, let's make a mark and see if it erases like it says it does. Let me take that, take that thing off. So we will take the colored pencil, and we will make a mark in the book, and I will see if it will erase right. Because I had erases like this before, and they didn't really erase all that good. But I think it was a Derwent pencil, or, or maybe it's a, yeah, I think it was a Derwent. So you can see what I'm doing. Oh, nuts! <laughs> it fell on the floor. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It doesn't... Well, it erases okay, but for colored pencil, I wouldn't... No, not really. See, it really doesn't really do that good with, with colored pencil. That was always a problem I had with this this type of eraser. It really never really erased that good. I, I mean, it does erase, but it, it doesn't really do good for colored pencil. 
This paper is so nice. Seriously, it's so nice. I, I love this book. I mean, I do love it. It's so nice. Oh, it's got a bookmark. Yeah, it's, I just noticed it. It's got a bookmark in it. Hold on a minute. Let me see. I find it. I've got to find it. It's very... There it is. There it is. See, it's got a bookmark. So freaking cool. I love it. I mean, until I got these art boxes, I've never had a, um, a sketchbook that had a bookmark in it. I've never had one like that. And I believe that is all, oh, that's one of the pins that, came, I mean, the pencil I was using. Let me see here, put this in here, back in here. Anyway, that is, let me pick up this, <laughs> the colored pencils that went all hither and yon. Well, I'm just going to put them in there, hither and, you know, hither and thither. I'm not going to try to get them in here neat. I'll put them in order when I, before I use them. One, two, three, four. Okay, I got them all in here. All right. I love things that come in tins. <laughs> anyway, that is the uh, Smart Art Box for... Uh, January. Um, <laughs> hopefully I'll do a better job. <laughs> hopefully I'll do a better job on the next project than I did on the on the December's December's box. I am going to try. Um, I will try though some uh, some of the techniques that I was I was noticing well, I, that I watched on the other um, the other uh, uh, YouTube state channels. Um, and give it another shot because I actually really was enjoying. I wish I'd had more colors. Um, maybe I, I'll, I'll get some more colors and, you know, do something for Valentine's Day or something. Because I really like the idea of making my own cards. Anyway, that is it for the Smart Art Box for January. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you are having a wonderful day. And until next time, y'all take care of yourselves. Be good to each other. God bless. Bye.